At the end of that first tour, do you have the spreadsheet setting out what Leanne owed? Yes, Judge. Thank you. Can I see it? Is this the total amount for the end of the first tour? Uh, £1,099.80? Yes. yes, Judge. Did Leanne pay any money during that time? Or was this debt that was accruing against what she might have paid? Uh, this was debt that was accruing against what she would pay. For example, like the tickets would have been paid by the fans, but I personally lent the money. This is not the band that lent the money. This is myself. And it's various things. It's hotel rooms, travel costs, etc. £1,099. Have you seen this? Do you, do you accept that that was the debt at the end of the first tour? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. You're very honest in your reply. I have to tell you, madam. Now... That's the end of the first tour. How much prior to October 2015 of the £1,099.80 had you received, sir? Uh, I had received none. Understood. Now, that's where I'm in difficulty, because despite not receiving any of what is a very clear and unequivocal record, excellently prepared, if I may say, what I don't understand is why, in October 2015, when you announced your second tour, you agreed for Leanne to come on that as well. Me and Leanne had grown closer on the first tour and the arrangement was that she would start paying in April of the next year, which the email said. So in that, in that sense, she had not reneged on any, on any agreement. Now, this is where at the top you apologise, in effect. This seems cheeky to ask, but I was really hoping I could come on the November tour this year. If you lent me the money for this tour too, could I come along again? I should be able to get my finances sorted by Christmas, so I'd be able to start paying you back after the tour has ended. Adam, thank you for telling me. It's an issue, and yes, I can extend the loan. I'd love you to come on tour with us at Christmas work, but etc. You can pay me back last Friday of every month after that until it's all paid back. Is that OK? Thanks, Adam, you're a start. I have to tell you, sir, what you did there was very sensible because you've effectively confirmed, certainly at the beginning of this agreement, verbal discussions that you had on the telephone by email. That is an excellent thing to do. By the end of December 2015, what was the debt that had accrued? It was £3,293.30. This really is, I have to tell you. For somebody I was expecting to be very disordered, this is an impeccable record. Now, you accept that that was a debt, you weren't keeping track of it, but you've had a chance to look at it, and I have to tell you, madam, I've had an objective opportunity to see the type of things that he's adding there. And it doesn't seem unreasonable, it's clearly for cost. Between January and July of 2015, pursuant to the promise that you made in that exchange, you do make monthly payments to Adam. And that's reflected in the last page of this document. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes. For eight months, you do exactly as you promised, and you pay him £150 per month. And that brings the debt down to £2,093.30, correct? Yes, Judge. In July, having paid without any problem for eight months, you miss a payment. <coughs> Why did you miss that payment in July, madam? My outgoings were a lot more than I had expected. Um, I was having a lot of trouble repaying the 150 a month. Understood. Well, you might have been having problems, so I presume you got in touch with Adam and you said, look, I'm having problems, I need to miss a month. Um, I have to admit, I didn't contact Adam. During well, the from what I can gather, Adam, there appears to have been some sort of very serious fallout after the July payment was missed. That's right, Judge. What uh, happened? So I, when I received a correspondence from Leanne, went round to her house to discuss it, but we were really getting nowhere because we were just ended up arguing, and it was predominantly about finances, but it fell down to being a slanging match. I felt that we'd become very close and, you know, and it, it bothered me, and at that time I didn't want to... That day I didn't want to continue the argument because it, it was going absolutely nowhere, but after I left... I then tried to contact Leanne afterwards and I had nothing from the September of 2016 until the January of 2018. So for two years you didn't speak. Yes, Can I ask you a question? Is part of the reason for that, that the two of you were not just emotionally involved but perhaps romantically involved? We never were an item, as in boyfriend and girlfriend, but it, we were very, very, very close and I think that didn't help when it came to the argument. When he ended up at your house and it ended up in a slanging match, you must have been very hurt. It was hurtful. And part of that hurt meant you decided to say, you know what, forget about him, I'm not going to pay you. It, yes, um, in part because I was hurt and in part because, because of something he said to me during the argument. Um, he said to me that he didn't care about any of it anymore and he walked out. So 
since we didn't speak after that, I took that to mean that was the end of that. This is post the main argument. I know we obviously had an argument, but I thought you'd still send the money. Maybe this was a mistake from the bank or something else. But would it be possible to sort it out now? Madam, you can't have thought what you just said at the end of the argument. Don't worry about it. You can't have thought he meant I'm forgiving you the debt because he sent you an email there, right? Yes, Judge. Understood. 2018, you reconnected. Where? His wrestling event. Um... What were you doing at the wrestling? I was wrestling. I was a wrestler. What was your wrestling name? Dick Farringdon. <laughs> <laughs> Big Dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big Dick. To my chums. Did you show up at the wrestling event? I did, yes. And did you reconnect with Big Dick Farringdon? <laughs> <laughs> I reconnected with Adam, yes. Sorry? I reconnected with Adam, yes. Understood. You reconnected with Adam, not with Big Dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judger of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now, that's an order.